Hey, I'm going to show you the adjustment of a tip. Try to anyhow. Now this is my old good tip that I really liked. I've just got through cleaning it up, getting it to cutting, working just about as good as I wanted to. Almost. I'd like it to be a little bit better, but it's not bad. That's a carburizing flame. Notice the feather. We're going to adjust it on down. There's a neutral. That's a pretty low preheat. Be all right for clean, already warmed up plate. Probably not enough for most cutting. That's an oxidizing flame. Notice how the points on the flame get sharp and go from white to blue. What you're wanting is with oxygen lamp going, I have a neutral. Flame. Just like that. Just barely get rid of the feather. That would be a more normal preheat. Most cutting, that's probably about right. For a quarter inch plate, your average cut. Notice how this tip, the flame doesn't get shorter, it actually gets longer when you depress it. That's my criteria for a good tip. If it does that, does the crackling sound, you probably got a pretty good tip there. Let's try it out quick here. See how it cuts. Not bad. Well, this scale that's on there comes right off. Let's try it on a piece thicker. There's a piece of half inch. Let's see what it does here. Got 40 psi oxygen. One thing, a little trick. You can loop your hose over your arm if it's going to catch on something, or if it's not, it's more comfortable and you got more freedom of movement this way. There was a discussion about having a shim under your hand to get the same level or even a little higher. One of the reasons I have so much stuff on this table is just for that, just to have something to grab to rest your hand on. Another thing is the closeness of your tip to the work. You run your tip too close, you're going to get it dirty in a short period of time. That'll mess your tip up. And then you'll have to cut close because it's not going to cut right. With a good clean tip, you can cut as far away as that or farther and not have any trouble. Here, I'm going to do about three quarter standoff. Going too fast there. See how the slag. Really could use a little more oxygen pressure on this thicker stuff. Still comes off. Let's try that again.
that was about the right travel speed for half inch. Reasonably clean cut, very little slag. What is there pops right off. We can do this even further away. Case being preheated does help. Very little slag. You can do it close as well. A little finer curve. Cleaner cut. I generally like to see at least a quarter, not three eighths hold off, just to keep my tip from getting messed up. I'm going to turn down the preheat some more. Since there is already heat in this piece. And that's a relatively clean piece of metal. Perfectly possible to make a cut. Once you get it started, that's where it really bites you. A little more slag. Like I said, it's not optimal. Can be done, but it's not the optimal thing because it forces you to travel slower. Travel speed is one of the more important things. Let's turn it back up and show that. Here's a result of a slow travel speed. A lot of heat already in the piece. Notice the edge melt along the top edge. Too slow. Still relatively clean, primarily because I got a good tip going for me right here. There's a little mess up back here, but not too bad. <laughs> 